This was the most intense battle I ever recorded in my life. Like seriously. Honestly, it's battles like this that make me love this game. I challenged somebody in the Serebi chat room named Adam, and let me just warn you right now, this battle's intense. So I advise you to sit back, grab your nuts, and cough, cause you might lose them watching this shit. First, the epic intro. Okay, so you've seen what's happened so far. He had Thunderous out, and uh, I kind of messed up on our predictions a little bit. I suck a punch, but he switched out. So I take Lucifer back out. You all know Lucifer. She's a gold mine. Anyway, so I send in Madre, and um, I'm thinking that he's going to go for the um, Calm Mine, so I go for the Workup. Now, Suicune, they usually don't make um too physically defensive. Or actually, they do, because they can raise a special defense, but not as regular defense. So I get a Workup on, and I think this Suicune has Roar, so I go for the Retaliate just to get some damage off, because I think I'm about to be sent right out the match. So, um, that does a good amount of I love this part. Okay, so, anyways, now, um, I send in Lucifer again. She takes the skull right to the face, but I mean, I have the sash, as you all know, so um, I survived it. However, I wanted to get a taunt off, because I don't want him roaring out my Pokemon anymore. So, um, I went for the taunt, at least, and I was able to send in Wintuck, so I know that he's only going to go for attacks now. So he skulls again, and I say, okay, well, this is the perfect opportunity to set up some light screens and reflects, right? So, the first one that I have priority on is the light screen, I think. But he withdraws and he goes into Archeops. Oh, yeah. I go right for the Reflect because I saw the Archeops on the team. Now, I hate these things. These things are a problem. So anyway, I switch them out. Now, remember, I have the Reflect up. So the Reflect is up, and I get hit with the Stone Edge. And I'm physically defensive, too. So it didn't do so much. And I resisted it. Now, he goes for the Acrobatics. And um, it gets powered up by the Gem. But I have a Reflect up, right? And I'm physically defensive. So it shouldn't be doing anything. Like, did you see that? Did you see that? All right. What? Anyways, so he goes into Jirachi. Then I'm like, okay, so Bistro goes in there. I rock slide. I'm thinking that he's going to go into Chandelure or something, but he doesn't. So um, Jirachi takes the hit. Um, he probably doesn't know I have the Earthquake on me, so I go straight for it. And um, I just wanted this Jirachi to die quick. But they make these things bulky, so I knew he was going to live it. However, um, I'm thinking with another Earthquake, I can get him. Now he goes for the Thunder Wave. You all know what's coming up next. The infamous Jirachi, Thunder Wave, Serene Grace flip set. So um, now I'm thinking, okay, Beastro's in trouble. As I was talking to the guy in the chat room, he was like, yep, you're going to hate me for this. And I did, but I actually got through. It's almost a 100% chance that you're not going to attack and have all this on you. But I got through. So Beastro, very, very well job done. I mean... He, he really pulled me there, so he goes to the chandelier now. So I'm like, okay, great. Now I can just go for the rock slide and hit this thing and kill it with one hit. But I get the power hacks right there, so that ends that. Um, another game-breaking power hacks right there. I could have killed chandelier if I wasn't hacked, but it's okay, though. It's all part of the game. It's all good. So I know he's going for the psychic. Now, here's the thing. Chandelier has Shadow Ball, which he wouldn't be able to hit Bistro with. He has Psychic, which you can't hit Hondo with, and he has a Flame, which you can't hit Hondo with, so it's beautiful. I sent Lucifer in because it was safe. Anyways, um, he has a sweet one up right now, right? And so now, I don't want Lucifer to die because he's too useful right now, so I send in Wintuck once again. Remember, I have screens up, I think. So he goes for the Skull, and it's like, okay, I took the hit to the face, right? But I should still be alright. So, um, you know the special defense of Wintuck is good. So I go for the Ice Beam, thinking that he's going to switch into somebody else, but he doesn't. So um, he goes for the Roar again, I guess sent out. And uh, I bring in, oh yeah, Bermuda. Anyways, um, so the match is kind of going a little sour right now. But you know, I have hope. My Pokemon can pull through for me. Or rather, I can pull through for my Pokemon. Anyways, I'm going to pause because I like this part of the song.
and we're back. So um, he roars me out, and now I was like, okay, so he sends in Lucifer once again. I'm not trying to let Lucifer die right here, because I needed to be able to take down Chandelure, I think. So um, I switch out, and I go back into Wintuck. Now remember, I have high special defense, and it's not very, it's like a no true damage move. And I have a light screen up. I have a light screen up. He gets an important critical right here. This critical was extremely important. But anyways, um, so once it dies, it's no big deal. You know, I can I can definitely pull on. You know, I'm there for my Pokemon when they need me to be there. I don't give up when one of my guys go. So Madre comes in, retaliates. I think it finishes off Sweeper. Wait, oh, it held on. Anyways, um, so he roars me out. Um, Suicune has that tiny smidgen of health. I'm thinking, is he going to attack, right? So I'm like, yeah, there's no way Suicune's not going to attack. So I go right for the Sucker Punch. But he predicts it, and he goes for the rest. That was another mistake. I could have just gone for the Heat Wave or the Crunch or whatever to finish him off. But instead, I had to Sucker Punch because I thought he was going to attack me. So um, that was a big mistake on my part. But you know what? Still a good battle nonetheless. I mean, this is a really good match. You see, we're predicting the hell out of each other. Or rather, I'm getting the help predicted out of me. So I go into Moderate to boost up with Workup while he's sleeping. But he goes into the Uxie. I don't give a damn. I still start working up. So anyways, um, Madre's working up, working up, you know, trying to get a fight on and everything. And um, he has to reflect up. I don't give a damn. I'm still working up. Even if you reduce me by like 50%, I'm still going to get more than that when I get the workups off. So that's two workups right now. Madre is looking kind of deadly. So um, he goes for the heal bell just to wake Suicune up. That Suicune is the core of his team. And it's the most annoying Pokemon ever. But I mean, this is a very good match though. So I work up for the third time. Now, at this rate, I think I'm getting greedy, so I go straight for an attack because I don't want to risk anything and, like, have something cool happen in my face. I'm not the type to get greedy too much, you know, but I definitely could have used those words up. So, he has Chandelure out. He doesn't know I have a Sucker Punch. So, tell me if you think Chandelure is living this. Nope. I mean, with three workups on, and plus the super effective and 80 base damage, I mean, yeah, it, it wasn't really happening. So, um, he sends in Thunderous. Now, I'm thinking, okay, I should probably go for the Sucker Punch, but he withdraws. And he goes to Sweep. So I think he... Oh yeah, I remember what I went for. I went for the Retaliate once more. Now remember, even though he has the Reflect Up, I go for the Retaliate and it does a lot of damage. I mean, there's a lot of factors to consider with there. But and still, that's a lot considering there's a Reflect Up. So I go for the Drain Punch again to get some health back. You know, I definitely need a little bit here. I'm not trying to let Madre die too quick. Now the Drain Punch is not stabbed, so it doesn't do nearly as much as the Retaliate. But he blows me out again. These roars are annoying. Like they, they keep messing up my game breaks. So, anyways, I'm gonna pause it again. Wait, I only have three Pokemon? Okay, so things are starting to get a little critical now. This guy's actually done a lot to me, but um, I get the Sucker Punch with the critical hit through the Reflect, so that's a little hack on my part, but you know what? With how much hacks I've been getting this match and how he's been getting it, it doesn't really matter anymore. So, um, I taunt him, thinking that he's going to go for the Reflect, and he goes for the U-Turn. That was a horrible prediction. I should have just gone for the Sucker Punch, but uh, that was really over-predicted of me. But um, anyways, what can you do, you know? That's all part of battling. A few bad predictions here and there, it happens. Anyway, so I go into Madre. Now I'm like, okay, so I take the Focus Blast to the face. Wait, am I living this? Wait, no, no, of course not. So I'm like, okay, that was bad news. I mean, I didn't think that Thunderous could even learn Focus Blast. But then again, everybody can learn Focus Blast now, so I shouldn't even be surprised. Anyway, so he goes for the Taunt, which was very smart on his part, because I was going to go for the Calm Mind. This guy, he really predicted the hell out of me. Anyway, so I go for Bistro, just to throw her out there as fodder, because I don't want to remain taunted. Anyway, here comes the chorus of this song. I love this part. Check it out. Okay, so back to the battle. Um, I got taunted once again, but I didn't fall for it, so I went straight for the air slash. I was hoping it would kill him, but it did because he resisted. I go for another one, but it misses. Oh, but the thunder misses when he hits me with that again. So um, that was double axe in one turn. Anyways, he goes into the Uxie. I knew he was going to go into Uxie, so I air slash again. And I think the taunt runs out this time. And it does, yes. Now I start calm minding. Um, I know that this Uxie is defensive. However, I think with enough calm minds, I could take it down. So he sets up a light right in my face. 
to hit my <laughs> to hit my calm mind right in the nuts. But anyways, I might go for the store power. Hopefully to castrate this thing and it doesn't do anything. So he U-turns. It's not gonna do too much damage. But um luckily me I have the natural guard too, so the burn's not doing too much. This is my last Pokemon by the way, so this match was kinda close to call, but I go for the store power and I take down Thunderous, thank goodness. And now I'm celebrating. I mean things are good now. You see what well, I suppose this is it. I mean, I dodge the first Stone Edge and I go for the Calm Mind, but um, that's pretty much it. He's going to hit me with the Stone Edge this turn, and that's about it. So that's how the battle goes, folks. Oh, well. Better predictions next time. Didn't I tell you that that battle was epic? I mean, you saw how close that got. Um... Even though we did put up one hell of a fight, um, I kind of let my Pokemon down, you know. I, I wasn't really thinking that smart throughout this match. Um, with the right predictions, I could have put a better showing out there. But you know what? It was still a great battle regardless. This one was excellent. You know, I'm not complaining. It was a great match. Um, Adam doesn't have a, a YouTube, but it doesn't matter. Um, he's still a great guy, and it was a great battle. Either way, um, thank you for tuning in. Check out the next one. Peace.